Good evening, Stampin' Friends, and welcome to Linda's Stamping Escape. It is Tuesday, January 23rd, and it is a bit nippy here in Wisconsin. Not as cold as it was, but gave us a little ice storm this morning. A little rainy. But we're over that and ready to go. Good day to be in your basement, Stampin'. So, all right. Tonight, I am excited to share with you the Heartfelt Hexagon Bundle. And along with that, it is the gold foiled flowers, cards, and envelopes. Wait until you see those. They not only add a touch of sophistication to your creation, but they're going to make your crafting quick and easy. So you'll see that the testament lies in the beauty of its simplicity. It sure is. So... You'll see how easy these are. Hello, Sharon and Cheryl and Joanne has joined us. Oh, we got a nice crowd starting already. Yep, everybody hop on, say hello. I love to see who I'm stamping with. So, yeah, these um, cards are perfect for any occasion, from birthdays to weddings. And you'll see a, see a few things that I picked out here tonight. So, and it doesn't matter if you're a novice or if you're experienced, you will appreciate the ease of use with these cards. And um, we're going to do some really cool stuff tonight. So, hey, Sandy. All right, we got, and Barb has joined us. <laughs> Said, I'm just talking to my grandbabies on FaceTime. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a must. Hey, Candy. So, again, heartfelt hexagon bundle I'll be using. Um, but the showcase tonight is actually those gold foiled flower cards. And everything is in the spring mini. And it is kind of bundled together tonight. So you can earn the heartfelt hellos for free, or you can actually get anything else you want for free. Oh my gosh, my lights are flickering. That's scary. <laughs> okay, let's take this out of here for now and show you what we're really going to be doing. Okay, so here's the heartfelt hexagons. It has quite a few different sentiments. So we'll be playing with those. And you can see it's for birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, whatever you want, sympathy cards, or a just for you will work as well. And it is bundled with the Heartfelt Hexagon Punch. Now these, and I gotta make sure I don't get all that glare in here. These are the cards. And the envelopes. Look at how pretty that design is up there. Isn't that gorgeous? And you get 10 cards and 10 envelopes. And they're pre-scored for you. So all you have to do is fold and go. There we go. And now for our first card... All we're going to do to this is add a sentiment. So I have one here. And what I did with this was, you can see right here. Let's do this. There is the sentiment. And then we have a nice little border that goes around there. So it's just double stamped and embossed in gold. Um, if you're looking for instructions on how to emboss leave a message or leave a comment in the message thing there and um, I'll do a little video on that but um, I think most of my followers know how to emboss but 
If I have somebody new watching, I'd be more than happy to show you. Okay, so this comes from here. And we are going to grab some Stampin' Dimensionals, and we're going to stick these on. Karen has joined us. Welcome, welcome. So, Karen, we were just talking about the Heartfelt Hexagon Bundle and the um, Gold Foil Flowers and Cards. We're just going to tuck this. I don't know. I, I have a habit of sticking them down here. I don't know. I just like them down there. So there you go. Sending you lots of love and hugs. Finished card already. So if you're in a hurry and you need some invitations or thank you cards or whatever, 10 of them here, quick and easy. Um, you can't get any quicker than that. But for those of you who like to maximize the value of your purchases, I got a great tip for you. Let me bring this in here. And we are going to, I mean, because look it, right? It's printed on both sides. So what are we going to do? We're going to cut it in half. We're going to cut it in half and trim it down. And most of us have the basic colors anyways, correct? We have our basic white and our very vanilla, so we're good to go. Um, and if you have a bit of the gold foil, you can add just a little more jazz to this. We'll step it up a bit. And you'll see here that before I put this on here, I punch these out. And they're just sitting over here waiting for a different card. And I have some planned. But I don't want to waste all this gorgeous paper, so that's exactly what I did. Punched a few of those out, and you never know when you're going to use them, because you'll be able to use your heartfelt hexagon punch anywheres. Okay, so let's put this on here. So our gold mat is cut at five and a quarter by four, and then I trim down our card here to three and three quarters by five inches. That gives you a really nice mat. And then of course our card base is a regular A2 size, eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. <laughs> you guys know that by art, don't you? Okay, so now look at the layers and how pretty that is. So now if you do it this way, instead of 10 cards, you can get 20 cards. And the hardest part is going to be deciding who gets those 10 pretty envelopes <laughs> and who gets just the regular very vanilla envelopes. So now that we got our base done here, uh, we got some ribbon that we can add. And we can just, let's just bring this back here because I'm going to pop this up. So I'm adding just a little adhesive to the back. And then we're just going to do, let's start this way. And we're going to bring it up here. It just sticks to the back as I go. And should we bring it out both ways? Or should we come back up like this and come back out and make a big poofy? <laughs> All right, let's cut this. I bought a brand new scissors and I don't know where I stuck it. I gotta find that because that definitely is not my um, ribbon scissors. Grab these again. And I'm gonna stick down 
my ribbon here. I'm not used to grabbing dimensionals with one hand. Okay, now I can grab them. There you go. Just give them that nice little tilt. All right, hold that down. And now I'm just putting that one there for, whoops. Ooh, he's a little stinker. Let's move him over here. There we go. Now he's down. So pull those off. And we're going to add this in the center here. And you can move these around a little bit. Not too much because you got them pinned down. But you can put them where you want. It draws your eye right to that greeting. Now I have the iridescent foil gems. Those are also new and they're in the mini. And these are kind of cool because they got a gold tint and a little bit of color, if you can see that. Okay. And we're just going to use those. I'm going to grab a really gold one. So we're going to stick that over here. We're going to kind of balance a ribbon out with this and then we're going to put one up here and as you can see I'm grabbing the ones that have a lot of the gold flecks in them there we go just a little bit more and if you didn't see what I did here I slit the top open and then I cut out um, a little finger piece so I can keep them in the package and then they just I can just slide these in and out so pretty cool. Works good. Protects it. <laughs> Karen says, wow, those gems are beautiful. Yes, they really are pretty and they give you just a little bit of hint of color in there. So it's just not all the gold and vanilla, but I mean, that color is really gorgeous. All right. Speaking of color, let's move this up a step here. Okay, we're, let's just put this all right here. And now we're going to bring in the other half. Let's bring in our other half. And I'm going to put that right over where that light hits it. Now we're going to be using, this is... I almost called it pretty in pink. Oh, you guys, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> okay. Um, it's actually petal pink. And it's one of the colors that I'm going to be highlighting in some upcoming blog posts. So starting on Thursday, you're going to see me highlighting colors that go with gold. So um, it's going to be fun because we're going to feature the pretty paper that is in the Celebration Catalog. And I think it's called Most Adored. But on one side, it's got pretty hearts. And on the other side, it's gold. So I want to highlight that paper. So let's put some color on our paper here. And we're going to be using our blending brushes. So just going to get some color in here. I'm going to move this up so you can actually see. Here we go. Going to get some color on here. And then I'm just going to gently put it right here. And then as I begin to move it, I can give it a little more pressure. And I'm not going to add a lot of color, but I do want to get just a pop of color in there. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So simple. And I'll lift this up so you can get a little bit closer. I seem to be kind of far away. Let's get this guy here. And then we'll add one more. 
Not too much on this one because that's not a full open flower like these are. And we're only highlighting this one type of flower. So that makes it even easier, right? Okay, so we'll put this away again. We're using Petal Pink and our blending brushes to add a little bit of color there. And I don't have to worry about getting anything on the glass because it wipes off really easy. You'll see the glass mat in the back of the mini catalog as well. It is one of the items that you can choose for free when you join Stampin' Up! during our celebration. Okay, now look at what popping this onto that pink does. It brings out all that pretty color. Hey, Chris! I have to shout out to Chris. Um, I looked out my window and all of my snow and slop was off the driveway. I have the best neighbors in the world. Thank you! So, there we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and then we just need a little greeting, and I need to find where I put the little guy. Oh, you know that stuff always falls on the floor. But, oh, no, it didn't. It's right here. So we're just going to tuck this right here, and I'm going to leave it. I'm going to cut it a little shorter, just at an angle. There we go. That looks good. And we're going to pop this up as well. This does not need any ribbon. That ribbon is so pretty. And that is vanilla and gold. So this all coordinates so nice together. So this has gone really fast. I wasn't expecting it to go this fast, but that's okay. Um, we're good with fast, right? That's kind of our whole mission today with these cards. Um, just looking to see once. What kind of bling we can stick on this one? I do believe. You guys see this? I got a whole big box. <laughs> so we can do festive pearls. Oh, let's grab those because those have gold ones in. Yes, and I take my um, dies out of these packages and I save all my little packets and then I put all my embellishments in them. Works really nice. All right, so we're just going to take, ooh, don't go over there. I'm going to put two on the end here as if to anchor our greeting. So basically, that's all we need. Joanne says, just that little bit of color makes it pop, doesn't it? And then you just, and you could do any color. Just take your favorite color, whether it's a purple or a blue, you know, turquoise, and then just put the um, coordinating cardstock behind it. And yeah, it really does make it pop. So these are the three. So these two were from the one cut piece. Here is our whole card with our envelope, okay, but I have one more, and this is for my Stampin' Friends who would love to color. Now, I am already made this card up because I didn't want you to sit here for 10 to 20 minutes while I colored, because that's about how long it took me, but look at how gorgeous this is. <laughs> Talk about spring. So this greeting comes from the heartfelt hellos. See, thinking of you this Easter, which you can get free with a $50 purchase during celebration. Got to tell you that. Karen says she's not much for pink, but yes. So we got pink in here, but we got yellow roses 
always yellow roses. Those are for Eileen. And then some purple in there because pink and purple. And I use two different colored greens. Um, these are all done with the Stampin' Blends. So I started out layer with my light, go in with my dark. But if you're looking to learn more about this, I have videos on my YouTube channel that feature coloring. So you can go take a look at that. But yeah, this is just so pretty. And I put the ribbon back there, kind of like I did, but I came out on both ends. And for the mat, I actually punched out one of these, as you can see from the back of that one. And then I just cut it in half and then I put part of it on top and part on the bottom. And then with the ribbon there, you don't even notice that there's no <laughs> um, mat missing. So it's not like a full mat, but it just highlights the top and the bottom. And then our pretty little brass butterflies go really nice with this. So this does make a perfect Easter card, doesn't it? <laughs> so... Oh, I'm glad you guys love them all. And look at how simple that was. I think this was one of my fastest or quickest lives ever. So, and we even made most of the cards. That's how easy that this whole set is. And again, it's the gold foil flowers and cards, they're called. And they come with the envelopes. They're on page 15 of your mini catalog the spring mini and then the heartfelt hexagon bundle which is where we punched all our greetings from these three greetings come from the heartfelt hexagon and then we use the punch on these three and the four um the easter one comes from heartfelt hellos so that was a quick and easy. And before we go and pick out um, our winner from last week, we had a nice big crowd, so that's good. Um, just wanted to give a quick shout out here that we did announce the Stampin' Retreat on Saturday, and we only have two rooms left. So if you guys are anybody interested in joining us for this retreat, um, let me know because I only have two rooms left. There's two twin beds in each of those rooms. So bring a friend and have some fun. It is all inclusive. Your price includes your full weekend stay at our 1930s English tutor. So we have a private home that we rent. And then all of your meals are included, included. so there's five meals. We, you don't go hungry, trust me. Ask any of the ladies who have been there before. Um, and all of your projects are ready for you. So everything's tucked in little bags and everything's organized. So when you pull it out, you know exactly what we're going to be working with. Most of it is cut and pre-scored and die cut for you. So it, we just want to make it easy on everybody. And it's just a very fun weekend. So, and it doesn't matter again, if you're a um, new stamper or a stamping pro, we have the cards are easy to do. So, but not too easy that my pros get bored because I got to make sure that they're, they're happy as well. So let's go. We are going to give away some of those festive pearls. Not this bundle, of course. It'll be full. But because they go with everything. And they're such great colors. So let me get our little thing here so that everybody can see. And we'll get you going here. Should I turn this one off? Well, oh, that's not the one that's blinding us. If I turn that other one off, ladies, we're going to be in the dark. Wait, maybe. Maybe I can. Oh, there we go. So, let's get this ready. Cross your fingers. Hope you win. And we'll do three, two, one. Good luck, everybody. 
Let's see who's winning those festive pearls tonight. <gasps> Carrie. Congratulations to Carrie. Carrie's going to be at retreat. So thank you all for joining me tonight. Let's get one last look at our pretty little cards here. Get some light there. Okay. And I thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful evening. Congratulations to Carrie. And don't forget, check out my blog. I'll have all this posted tomorrow on my blog. But starting on Thursday, we're going to have a whole uh, session on color, color coordination with gold, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, Kathy says, how often do you do retreats? I do my retreats twice a year. We do one in the spring, which is an all occasion. And then we do one in the fall, which is pretty much a holiday retreat. So, um, which we might be introducing a few more um, occasions into the holiday mix there. Only because, like, we'll throw, like, a Christmassy birthday in or something. Because I know a lot of people have their cards, Christmas cards, done by the time we do retreat. Except me. <laughs> so... Thanks again, everybody. If you have any questions about the retreat, please message me. I'll be more than happy to give you the information. So thanks again. Have a wonderful evening and everybody stay warm and stay, stay safe. Safe. I can say that right. Stay safe. There we go. Thank you. Good night.